I think if you're not a TCG player in some way, Queen's Blood's a little intimidating, right? It doesn't have the approachability of a Marvel Snap. It doesn't. Uh, it has some similarities for sure, but I don't think I got actually started getting used to the, the, the functionality of Queen's Blood and the strategy of it until possibly like, I don't know, like 10 to 15 opponents in. Uh, and then after that, I actually started making my own deck and stuff like that. So that's a lot different than the Cosmo Canyon Proto Relic quests where I think I just need to hammer my head against the wall until I like it. Fort Condor was kind of the same way too, right? Fort Condor was kind of the same way. Favorite card? Uh, damn. Let me look. This is the deck I'm running currently. So the most OP card in the game, I swear to God, is Titan. Uh, this card's ridiculous. It's so useful. It helps me out so much. I'd argue Titan. It could go in any deck. Uh, other than that, not really. You know? Midgar Sormer is great. It's a great card. But the usability of Titan just, like, almost guarantees you the victory if you get him in a good spot. Titan and Midgar Summer have been your favorites too. Damn. Yeah, they're good. They're good. Cactuar is arguably one of the best starters. Um, it's so good. Uh, Chocomog is also a great starter. This is my old deck, and it is a uh, yeah, it's a it's a deck. The Choco Jockey. Oh God, this one is busted. I probably need to stick this in. I don't even need to, though, dude. I don't even know if I need to. It's so... It's so good. And already, like, I am wiping the floor with Mother Pfeiffer's... Uh, with the Destruct deck. We know what bums me out is that I was really excited for... This. Uh, hold on a second. Edit deck. Craft pre-built deck. I was really excited for this these pre-builds, and I was like, ooh, yeah, I'm gonna go, this is gonna set up for some crazy shit. I'm gonna go get all the cards for these pre-builds so that we can uh, do some nutty nutty stuff with them. But in, in my experience, they suck. They're like super weak. They're like meant to like really understand how the game works and not really to do some cool shit. I don't know. It just, it feels like the pre-builds aren't that great. They're just like cool starting decks, and but I feel like I've already outgrown them. It's kind of weird. They're better as a base. Yeah, maybe as a base and then you modify from it. This is obviously the Destruct deck. Obviously. Edgar Sormer and Grandhorn, you know? It helps you learn stuff like that. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, correctly determine when to play Stone Golem, however, and you can gain. I wish there was like way more of these, right? I wish there was way more of these. It's crazy how much fun Queen's Blood is. It's insane. I love it. I have the Space Ranger card, yeah. Almost everybody I go up against also has the goddamn Space Ranger card. Yeah, I hope they I hope they get the memo that people love Queen's Blood. And it needs to be expanded. I don't I don't know how much further it's going to go, but I am currently on, at Blood Tactician at rank eight. And I hope that there's eventually like 50 opponents. I hope I hope it goes that far, but I'm I'm having a, a, a disturbing feeling that I'm nearing the end of it, but I don't want to know. I actually really want more opponents. I like don't want it to end. What's your piece? Given the Gwent treatment making a separate deck to play. People were People were criticizing um, Queen's Blood the same way people criticized Gwent because apparently they did that for Witcher 3, right? So they turned Gwent into like its own normal game. But when they did that, the game was like unbalanced for uh, actual PvP. It was more made for PvE. So when the PvP part happened, it was like hilariously unbalanced, uh, which could definitely be a thing. You know, it's clear that meta decks and stuff like that is is for sure a big thing that you have to start balancing around because some stuff is just going to be too fucking good. In a single player game, you're allowed to put shit as good. You're allowed to have something that's like fucked up and massively good because you worked for it. You eventually got there and you worked for it and that'll just be a part of your deck forever. But 
you know, if, if that's in a PvP sort of situation, that's kind of a problem where everyone just has to run this or else you die. It's like, well, that sucks, you know? It's completely different balancing. Yo, Ebru, thanks for the 10 gift subs, man. Uh, yo mama gongaga. Mamaga? After that, they remade Gwent from the ground up. Yeah, exactly. Like, you would have to get, you know, get the guys that Don't made Teppin in there. Right? The guys that are used to doing a bunch of, like, TCG stuff. Just get some, some, some devs that have, like, ex extensive history in trading card games to balance it. Because you already have a base that's amazing, right? God, it always, the music in this area always gets to me. And when you get the uh, the further regional intel, like past 70%, 50%, you get all like the children in the background and shit. Jeez. I have noticed that in several, and, and I think it's a theme throughout the game, um, they're using like choirs of kids. There's There's a lot of like huge tracks in this game that are utilizing children in some way, and I, th I feel like it's intentional. I don't know why yet. I feel like it's definitely intentional because um, many tracks have like, the Genova track was like this, this track is like several, I have to go back and listen to others, but there was like a lot of tracks in the song that are using kids in the background that are in like a children choir in some, in some way. So I was like, whoa, like the Genova track was like, holy shit. Uh, and, it, and, it, and it, that one invokes like a horror aspect, but in a lot of other ways, it's it's about like innocence. It's supposed to like elicit these sort of very descript feelings and shit like that. They're they're going for something, and I don't know exactly what it is yet until I hear the rest of it. But there's also you know, Advent Children. There's also all of that shit. If you also noticed, um. The majority of people that are talking in the other timeline, this is a little spoilery, a lot of a lot of point of conversation in the other timeline is talking about their kids. Is talking about like what's gonna happen to Marlene. Marlene's wondering what's gonna happen to her, what's gonna happen to this world. People are like, I'm glad I was able to raise children with you. Like there was all of this, like a lot of secondary conversations happening around the the falling timeline. That is like, whoa, people that are worried about their kids or glad that they had kids or stuff like that. So I was like, this is, I'm feeling there's something going on here. I don't know. I, I, I don't have the full scope of the story yet, but I'm definitely picking up on some messaging here and I don't understand it all entirely yet. Okay. Uh, this is right here. Anyway, I feel like there's a lot of subtext in this game, and I'm just like the first game, and I'm friggin' loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. Bam! Let's finish this. Don't well, overdo it. So it's my turn? I need to, um... Wait a minute. My turn to go? Let's do this. Did I just parry Lethal Haze? You have to be kidding me, dog. Uh, Grandhorn? Can I have your attention, please? Cloud? Try not to kill the dude. Son of a... I'm trying to summon Bahamut, dude. Uh, we... We one-shotted Bahamut, uh, Arisen, chat. <laughs> Literally one-shotted his ass. Not one-shotted, first tried him. Uh, and I haven't had a chance to use him yet. <laughs> we didn't one-shot him. One-tried him. First tried his ass. Can I make Mist Megas? Please tell me I can. With all the new stuff. <gasps> Mist Mega! Let's go!
Oh, hi, Ether. 120 experience. Brother, let me have it. I find it funny that crafting is also weirdly fun in this game, too. Right? It, like, teases you with little bits of more things you can get. And then you're like, oh, I can, I can just go make this stuff and then upgrade this thing and then do that thing. Damn, bro. I need that. The spirit bound armlet. We need to find more divine heartwood. Look at the slots on that mother. Yeah, making enhanced bracelets, using the chocobos to find the new materials. It's fun. I actually like it. On the second playthrough, it'll be weird not to do any side content right to remake. Uh, I'm, I'm actually curious about that when we eventually get the PC version. I might want to like 150,000% the game. No shit. When we get the PC version. Like, I was looking at the playthrough um, because it's rendering for YouTube, right? And I'm like being reminded on moments that I forgot happened that were uh, incredible. Uh, like the first time you go to Golden Saucer and you go to the goddamn Halloween place. You visit the, the Haunted House Hotel and the Haunted House Hotel is godlike. It's so sick. Tell me I need to go over there. Aren't telling me. There. Oh, I found them. Dangerous fiends may be in the vicinity. Exercise caution. Rare grand horns very These guys look like they're from Monster Hunter. Yo, Beast Slayer, thanks for the 10. Grand horns are peaceful creatures which use their claws not for combat, but for unearthing insects to eat. During mating season, they pair off to build nests and raise their young. Those unable to find partners eventually take up the role of protector, guarding the nests of others and keeping the newborns from harm. Their crimson coloration is a warning to all would-be trespassers. Keep out. The social structure of Grand Horn communities is definitely worthy of further investigation. Yes, I will beat them into the ground. Don't worry. Attacking it twice while it's guarding will cause it to counterattack. Hitting it with a powerful offensive ability while it's guarding will pressure it. Although only ranged attacks are effective while it's counterattacking. Okay. Ready? Damn, bro. What's it weak against fire? Oh, good. Uh, Aerith, do we have crazy things? We do. Am I about to get smashed? I am! Parrot got hit in the background. Combat missions. You have completed all battle assignments within the Gagaga region. Nice. I've added a new trial to the simulator, which you may undertake at your leisure. <sighs> at your leisure? Cheeky, considering you're not risking life and limb. Neither are they. It's VR. Know that I am ever aware of the hazards you must face, Cloud. I will endeavor to not only assist you, but ease the way of your burden. 
If Mai begins to grate, I'll gladly tweak her AI. You did. We got a big fight down here. We have a big ass fight. Now I gotta figure out how to get to it. Get him! Bring it on! Why don't you lead the way? I got you. Keep it together. Hey, you have Mario. Can you take over for me? Leave it to me. Time to celebrate. <laughs> Drinks are on me. Well, there's a beach. Have I been down here? Scenic spot, a. Eh? A. Eh? Not exactly a beach. Well, there sort of is. Can we get down there? Can we no. Oh, you just need to enter photo mode. You don't have to actually take the picture. Snapsu. Uh, okay. Tifa and Barrett being the least played in this run is wild. Dude, I've been splitting everything evenly. Tifa and Barrett got the majority of the early parts of the game. And we just played a ton with Barrett. Like, all of Cosmo was played with Barrett and before it. We're splitting things up pretty hard. This is it, Cloud. We've arrived at the Great Marlboro's Domain. As I'm sure you've surmised from the aroma, olfactory risk level high. I guess we should heal up. That'd probably be a good idea. All right, I'll stick with this team. Let her rip. Let her rip. Holy crap, it's insane. It's not green. Ow. Uh, let's just do the right thing. All right. Boasts countless tentacles springing from their heads. From their giant maws, they spew corrosive liquid and the most acrid of breath. Exposure to Mako has made them bigger, uglier, and stinkier. Shattering their mouth will make them susceptible to staggering and prevent them from using bad breath. If left unchecked, bad breath will steadily increase in potency. Its mouth will regenerate after a certain amount of time. I'm gonna break the bitch's mouth? Let's do this. Oh god! Uh Oh god. 
He's weak against ice. Of course. Um. You can do it. <laughs> Just watch. Now, here goes. Cloud is really screwed up. Let's let's get crazy here. Heatwave, Rolling Thunder. How about stick an Arcane Ward over here? Bite? Oh Jesus. I'll show you what I can do. Sorry, but I gotta Uh Red 13's gone. Red 13 is actually just gone. We've lost him. Red literally saved everybody. Your victory was inspiring, Cloud. That malodorous monstrosity has been sent back to the jungle depths. Yeah, Aerith is kind of a hard character to use in this game because she's a snowball. Cloud. I suspect it will prove useful in crafting new creations. You have to like you set her up, but once you set her up, she's like an ATB monster and she just rolls through things. She can stop small enemies from hitting her. She gets a ton of friggin' like, if you eventually have enough magic on her, she just does uh, so much. 
However, I need more ATB really bad. I'm sorry, I need more uh, slots really bad. <gasps> the familiar Tempest wind damage, MP recovery rate up, critical damage, critical hit rate, 200 more HP, not terrible. So I need to go check. Cloud, do you have first strike? You do. So first strike is incredible. And I need it. Uh, luck up, HP up. Where is... Slightly fills it at the start. I'm using a weapon ability. I need first strike really bad because I can set up Radiant Ward immediately. Do we only get one first strike materia right now? Precision defense, item master. We have one. Steal it from Cloud. Steal it from Cloud. Um, ATB boost. Do you mean... See, this one's rough because of the cooldown. You have to level this up so much. Cannot be used continuously, right? You have to level this up so much. Synergy, Lightning Wind, which is mad good. MP up, Revival, HP up, Enemy Skill. Um, who has Magnify? Autocast, Fire, HP Absorb, Jump, Elemental. Oh, who has Magnify right now? It's being unused. Oh, good. Oh, good. Yeah, I'm gonna use Scarf on her, too. See how good it goes. Magnify Healing. Synergy, Lightning and Wind. MP up, Revival. First to Strikeu. To be real, I might put Revival on Cloud. And cleansing on Aerith. Whoa, what the hell's going on here? Jump HP absorb. I say I was gonna do? Huh? I wonder what auto cast enemy skill would do. Oh, it was cleansing. Yeah, I gotta put cleansing on Aerith. I wonder what auto cast enemy skill would do. Or if that even works. Probably nothing, because there's too many options, right? Magic efficiency. Precision defense. Hold on a second. I'm just thinking. Yeah, I guess we just want to do cleansing materia. 
I'm trying to see if there's anything that I could be like cramming here. But I should probably be buying new materia from uh from Chadley anyway. Oh, there's a small glow around the materia you can pair. Maybe you're right. It's a good way of highlighting it. This is getting there. Auto unique. Let's do auto weapon ability. On cloud. Yes. Yo, Shoryu Tech, thanks for the 30 bucks, dude. Holy shit. Thank you very much, man. Auto cast enemy skill defaults to Sonic Boom. That's not bad, because Sonic Boom is really good. That's actually really good. Man, oh man. Tifa got Chakra maxed out. 40% HP of damage taken. That's specific. I don't know if I like that very much. Uh, what do I want to throw on here, man? Maybe auto unique ability. It's not a terrible idea. I do that with Cloud. I'm curious to do that with Cloud because um, it makes him go into Punisher mode, like more frequently. Yo, uh, Chocubo, thanks for the 50 bucks, dude. I saw the clip of you talking about the situation with the copy YouTube copyright stuff. I wanted to say I really appreciate you do it, considering the shitty situation. If you press touch pad on material selection, you can see the material in everybody. Yeah, 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 I know. I just, you know, forget. Uh, you can do this. Touch pad here. Is there actually a set for all? Yeah, materia set for all. And you can just swap around anything from here. Punisher's really good. Yeah, like, really good. And if you set Cloud to Punisher and he has, um... If you set Cloud to Punisher... And he also has... Prime Mode activated, he probably will really fuck shit up. Alright, what's left to do here? Proto Relic? Pretty much. Pretty much. Is that a crossing? I think I have to go over here. Okay. Uh, is there no way over there? Dog, come on. Seriously? I gotta figure out how to get to this proto relic quest. Damn. Yeah, that definitely ain't it. This pipeu is blocking this entire pathway. Unless... I don't know. It's too dark in here. I can't see shit. This is just probably it. Okay, this is like up this mountain. It's not super obvious. Obviously, it's not obvious. 
Obviously. Uh, it's going to be off of a spring somewhere. A bounce pad. Or its entry path is, like, funky? Maybe it's over here? Yeah, to be real, uh, it's kind of nice that not everything in the game is just super clear and apparent where to go and what to do. That you have to use your brain for, like, a second. That you gotta think about it for at least a moment. I kind of appreciate that. There's no yellow paint, oh god. Um. Can I jump down here? No? What in the hell? Oh, wow. Arrival and objective confirmed. I've disabled the security system. You may use your fake IDs to enter the facility. Oh, wow. Bugs! <laughs> Don't overdo it. So it's my turn? Mind backing off a bit, you okay? Aerith, you're so busted. Jesus. Aerith with ATB at the start is probably going to be busted. There's a reason she gains ATB so slow, and it's that she does, like, the most damage in the game. Well, this place is cool looking. Because of rewards? Yes. So as soon as you get a ward up with Aerith, she's like twice the character. And then if you get two to four wards up with her, she's unstoppable. If you get the shield up on top of those wards, she blocks most attacks. And then if you start utilizing her synergy abilities like bodyguard and stuff, she'll just never get hit. Considering what we know of the situation, it seems unlikely that the Yeah, and then you get ward shift, where you can run away from the enemy, right? And your ward? Press triangle and then port all the way across the map back to where the ward is, and then she's... What? Why? Miles away from the enemy again. I'll spare you the details. A productive interrogation revealed to us the truth. The attack on Paul was only intended to be a diversion. One which drew us away from their real target, Junon's weapon system. Suffice it to say, their plan worked. Consequently, they have seized control of our autonomous sentry unit. Your mission is to neutralize the mechanical threat. Best of luck to you out there. Robots? So their mechs were hijacked and turned against them? <laughs> Sucks to be them. It is a core tenet of Turk's doctrine that one must anticipate and prepare for every contingency. Yeah, they're never caught flat-footed, that's for sure. The Turks are shitty Batman. Turks with prep time is just bad news. Initiating training mission. 
No, we're, we're at Nabel, um, but we're not, we haven't gone through it yet. We're just going back and finishing up a little bit of stuff in Gongaga, because I love the music. Enemy units sighted. They know you're coming. The rest is up to you. Dude, look how much ATB Aerith has. She's insane. Why don't you leave the My turn? Jesus Christ. I've never SS these guys. What are you even weak against? Fire? That doesn't make any sense. God damn it. This is bullshit. Wind and ice. These fuckers are so annoying. On you. I'll show you what I can do. That'll do. You can do it. Don't worry. Ready? Cloud, what happened? Um. Look, this son of a bitch. These guys are so tough. Uh, we are low on health. Um. You've got this. My turn. Look out. It's over. Prime mode, please. Seems dangerous, but you know, okay, I'm not gonna. It, wor it really worked out. I mean, it really worked out. It seems very dangerous. straight every little bit helps oh dude am i about to get atb ward up as well he's not re what? reaching Do it. All right. My time is 
Uh, okay, yeah. It's so dead. It wasn't even an issue. Aerith just did, like, a double level three spell and killed it. Well, you certainly showed them. Hey, Aerith you with ATB know. at the start might be busted. You and Rude should take the night off. You deserve it. Mission complete. Well done, trainee. Yeah, by the end of it, Aerith had like two or three wards up. The company's armed forces are without question the world's it's over. greatest military power. However, our superior strength could well prove our undoing if our enemies succeeded in turning assets against us. We must deny them the opportunity. And if we fail, we must rectify the situation. This facility will enter power saving mode. Once you have retrieved your provisions, proceed to the next location. Auto unique ability on Aerith. Thank you for your excellent. Wouldn't work. that just be like ward shift? My analysis is progressing smoothly, but I fear I require more data to arrive at a conclusion. Easy what? Irish, thank you. We're still not done yet. <laughs> just a little more. <laughs> Yeah, weapon ability. So auto unique ability, I guess, would be her casting a random ward on herself. Does it depend on which weapon she's using? Talk about a pain. That's an interesting proposition. Uh, first strike, HP up, MP up. I can put it instead of HP up. The thing is, I already, um, it uses the ones on the shortcut. Oh, what is, what is Aerith's shortcut abilities? Arcane Ward. Oh, we don't need that there. Grants bravery and faith. Can use while airborne. Yo, G-O-W, thanks for the 30 bucks, man. Love the early stream. Still behind you in Gold Saucer, but uh, living the, the dream vicariously through you. Thanks, man. Yeah, I'm trying to get the YouTube videos up as soon as possible. Don't worry. Thank you, dude. I really appreciate it. Sonic Boom is so good. It does. Why does it do so much damage and also give you mad buffs? I don't understand. I do not understand. Uh, Lustus Shield is what again? That's the big barrier. Yeah, or the, the, the mini barrier. Okay. Sonic no, Beam. But that combat simulator thingy of theirs is supposed to be able to do anything, right? Why do they need more than one? Previously, each unit had a facility reserved for them alone. But as an energy saving measure, they can now only be used one at a time and in order. One at a time? Jeez, Gates. I'll try it. Yeah. I'm do I have some kind of inconsequential stuff on her already, which is the HP up material. So I'll give it a shot. Auto unique ability. You can really like gambit your characters up in this game. Which is kind of interesting, you know? Okay. Um, where's the next one? I can visit this area? What? So. Bouncy on the right. Oh, that leads us to a completely different place. Big doinks. Deal 
deal with that. I'll take care of them. You got me. Leave it to me. Come on. Ready? Take it. What the hell am I even fighting? Oh, I went towards the divine intel. Yeah, which is good because I need to level up Gajada. Speaking of which, do I have... Phoenix on Cloud. Bahamut Arisen is on Red. Tell me Aerith has Kujata. Okay. I haven't even seen Kujata yet, bro. I haven't even seen it. <laughs> the problem is, like, these summons are so good, but they only... are good for certain fights. As many local residents would attest, Kujata can harness and wield the elements of fire, ice, and lightning. Furthermore, it can strike down its foes... Yo, damn, the Northian. Thanks for the 77, 77. God damn. Thanks, dude. I caught up on the VODs. 102 hours yourself. Your FF7 Remake streams helped me get through my overnights in a hospital during COVID. Super excited to see your reactions, and hopefully I can beat the game soon. Shine on. Thanks, man. Yeah, I feel like I'm I'm sort of behind on a lot of this, but I am... You only first time play through, you know, this game once. So I am embellishing the fact that I don't know. I'm actually really enjoying it, you know? If there's one thing I don't want to do is to sort of go through it too fast. And I it wasn't intentional to do a 100% run, but it just looks like that's what's happening. I want to savor this shit. Okay. And uh, Foamy Beer, thanks for the 10. Love the streams, huge 7 fan. Can't wait for the theory crafting to beat the game. Yeah, no. talk about it then. Thanks, dude. Circle. X circle circle square circle circle X circle look at this big goat face oh my god he has three faces and they're like on top of each other creepy Kuyata. That's what I pronounce it. That concludes our analysis of the Kugaga Summon Crystals. Thank you. You're welcome. I suspect Kujata is quite pleased Kuyata. to join your cause. It's Kuyata, all right? You're pronouncing it wrong, game. Damn, caves, though. Jesus, dude. When light, again, when light enters a cave... When, like, a natural light source is entering, like, a, a cave, it looks amazing in this game. It looks so good. It's one of the few examples of, like, the lighting just being incredibly stellar. Imagine this on PC. Imagine this on PC and fans upscale every single texture in the game and make it a terabyte. Imagine. I can't wait. Imagine this game on PC. Fans will make it a terabyte, bro. Tetrabyte. 500 gigabyte game. Oh, wow. This is over here. Huh. Hundred and twenty FPS. Five hundred gigs to one terabyte. Give it to me. You'll need six NVMEs to run the game. Any major gripes? Major? Absolutely not. My major gripe is that I can't play it in 60 because the visual fidelity at performance mode isn't that great. But the fact that the game even runs at 60 FPS is is just honestly pretty good considering the scale of the environments and the non-loading of shit. 
The mog houses? The mog houses are not great. Yeah. The mog houses are not great. Poor bugs. Yes. Let's dispense with the formalities. For your next mission, you'll be my bodyguards. Not that I have need of any, but no matter how much I protest, this one never listens. Hostile forces have infiltrated Junon and disguised themselves as allies. You must take care to desert friend from foe and ensure no harm comes to the president while waiting for helicopter extraction. Hmm. Maybe we have to like trainee. protect him? Weird. Ooh, can I be a bad guy? Shall we? Sure. Just watch who you're shooting, okay? advancing on your position. Be ready to intercept. Get him! It's on you. I'm coming! Why don't you leave your Let's just set it up. Don't give up now, you guys. Cheap. Oh no, we win. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, we really win now. Okay. I got Radiant Ward. I got Chrono Aegis. I need Arcane Ward. These bitches that stop shocking me. I don't even need to do Soothing Breeze. I don't even need to. Um...
Oh, I got shot, of course. There's literally no problem. I don't even believe it. You're like, right. in other words, for where? This way, Mr. President. Right. A stellar performance. You've earned a bonus. Hmm. Whatever you desire, just ask. And it's yours. Yeah. Normal Thunder did 2,000. Mission complete. Our president is the heart of the company. He cannot be replaced. It is vital that we keep him from harm, even if it costs us our lives. Keep that in mind on future missions. This facility will enter power saving mode. Once you have retrieved your provisions, proceed to the next location. I have almost everything I need to restore the data. All right, then. Let's do it to it. The sooner we finish this thing, the sooner we can show them what we're really capable of. Beep, beep, beep. And I think this is about to be the end of this region. Yeah, the final proto relic. Yep. Last thing. Where's it at? All the way down here. Yeah. Damn the music. Uh, wrong way. I think we fighting these bugs. Or not. Damn. They didn't aggro us. Holy shit. Back in here, some place. Huh. Did I just rush by it or something? Maybe I did. Wow, whoa. It's on you. I'll take care of them. I keep my distance. I got Aerith got interrupted. Cut. Here it comes. I'm backing off a bit. Too much? Go on. Sorry about that. Sorry, but it's very poorly, very fast. It's funny when it doesn't go exactly according to plan, you get jacked up. La 
loud. All right. So you're telling me that this thing is somewhere in here. Maybe up there? Is it this door? Tis. Turk severance package sucks. That's a good way to put it. Been a long time since you and I went head to head. I'm here for you guys. I think I don't remember all the tricks you got this week. Oh my god, of course. What else do I do? Uh, do I even have Arcane Ward up yet? I might. Let's get Not. Ow, damn dog. Okay, this bitch is being a bitch. Damn, these guys have some life on them. Holy hell. is having a tough time with all these friggin' wards. Just 
Oh my god, dude. Let's do this. There we go. Remind him who's in charge around here. Damn, bro. God damn. It's about to destroy Elena. You asked for it. Don't worry, you're good to go. Deal with that. Leave it to me. No time to waste. Yeah, you do that. Didn't work out so good for you, did it? I got you. Ready? I can. You are weak too. Chill, chill, chill. Oh no, I wanted Bahamut to do the big thing. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, they died too fast. They had a lot of health. Mission complete. Well done. Too strong. You've proven yourselves to be born Turks. Wow, what an honor. We Turks fight as one, but our no proton cannon. To sever our Please. Ties, which is precisely why. Huh? Who's there? Confirming personnel data. ID GAI 153. Affiliation General Affairs Auditing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Turks. Uh, uh, Certainly didn't expect to run into you here. Took the words right out of my mouth. What in the hell are you doing here? Shinra sent me to inspect the facilities. Wanted to make sure they didn't have any unauthorized visitors wandering around. GAI 153? Records indicate the individual with that ID underwent formal training. Wait. Are you a Turk? That'll be enough probing. For my benefit, but mainly for yours. It was enough of a pain to cover up the mess you made at the reactor. Try not to cause any more trouble, okay? Sorry. Won't happen again. Anyway, I'm heading back to the village. Once you're done here, I suggest you make tracks. There's definitely more to her than meets the eye. Hello? You good? Hey, Chadley. What happened to the proto-relic? Oh, forgive me. And there. Yeah, incredible. It appears that by restoring the fragmented data, we were able to break the proto-relic's encryption. Uh, translation? The potential applications are practically limitless. By converting matter into data distributed across a secure network, shielded from external I forgot we even look for this thing. One could preserve said data indefinitely. So is it real? Like, can I touch it? Oh, of course. Behold, the proto relic in its restored glory. Just leave it there. Don't even worry about it. Dang, boy! Gongaga, yo mama complete! Well, that was fun. Am I gonna get a vision? Of Greg? Visions of Greg.
At long last, the knave returns. Beneath the moonlight, in victory shall I revel. I, Genji! Chadley? <laughs> None other. After analyzing the phenomena associated with your sudden disappearance, I was able to devise a way in which to join you virtually. Virtually? Ah, no matter. Be gone, foul conjurer, or I shall make this place your grave. Oh my! This is simply fascinating! <laughs> I'm Chadley. You must tell me about yourself, and about this place. You dare demand answers of me? Oh, I realize the proto relics are pieces of Gilgamesh's armor. Yeah, it's actually pieces of his gear. I was thinking it was going to tie into, like, Knights of the Round or some shit. Chadley, you okay? I believe so, yes. Tell me I didn't dream that shit. Correct. That was no dream, Cloud. You and I were there, together. Wherever there was, that is. I presume it was another dimension. Nothing's ever simple. <laughs> I sense exasperation. I, however, am emboldened to solve this mystery. I only hope that you will assist me in my quest for answers. Yeah, huh? Chadwick. Yeah, huh? What's in the box? Three star prayer materia. Damn. Uh, like, damn. Like, damn. Dude. You could use that on cloud. Oh, but we're doing pretty well. Right? Great HP restoration. Red 13 has jump. I need to I need to jump with red. Um that's auto weapon ability. How about auto unique ability? On you red 13. Swap that with Aerith. Yeah, I guess auto-vengeance, right? Maybe he builds vengeance automatically? Hard to say. All right, uh, that is all of Gongaga. Damn. Place was huge! Uh, if I go to world map and I go back to Corel, do these other proto-relics start showing up? I guess not. I guess not. We might have to wait a bit for that. Are they back here? No, not at Costa del Sol or anything. Um, okay. Uh, I, I'm assuming we just got to check out Cosmo now? Cosmo still has several things I have not done and side quests. Uh... Proto Relic is up there. We have another spring over here. Yeah, let's do this. Hold on a second. Oh, that's right. I gotta like, I gotta take a friggin. Uh, I gotta take a ship there. 
do this. I also need to get, um... I also need to get... some of my combat quests done with Chadley. For all the extra materia we'd be getting. Uh... Where's this thing at? No, the Proto Relic in the Corel region is either story locked or something. We've done everything. It's just that it says we'll have to come back another time. Yo, Junior Junior, thanks for the prime. Mm -hmm. Um Under Juno and Costa del Sol. Let us go to Cosmo. We are clear Let's do this. for takeoff. Yeah, Kid G was gonna call us when he said the next one's ready. Crazy Goblin. Platinum Rug, thank you for the uh, 25 months. Let's try to get this course done. Jesus. I don't think I'm in the right spot. Yo, the Mars of Nair. Thank you, dude. So far divine, I wish I could tune in, but you're enjoying uh, this to the max. I'm going to be catching those VODs. Thank you, dude. Yeah, I know a lot of people are. Okay. Lied to Chocobo. Do it. was a little weird. No, you piece of shit. No, you piece of shit. No, you piece of shit. Damn it. Um, damn it. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. I need to see the map. Not bad, not bad. I mean, we could have done way better. Hey, shut up. You can't just force a chocobo to do what you want. You should have established a bond with Apony before heading out. You've got to be on the same page when you're running a course. Be completely in sync. You don't Quack. say. Then why don't you, a real jockey, show us how it's done? I can't believe you people. I'm going home. Jumps oh, off the cliff. Crap. That certainly backfired. Yeah, yeah. No need to rub it in. Come on, let's catch up with her. I gotta run it again, homie. Run it again, homie.
Okay, eyes on the road. Bitch! Bitch! I descended too fast. Let's restart. Oh, man. Recovered too quick. Bitch! Yeah, the camera's a little rough here. Bullshit! Well, that's cool, the theme changes. Come back down here, you piece of shit! No, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Oh my god, now I'm too low? Bruh. Bruh. This one's so weird. 5,400, okay. This minigame's actually tough. Giddy up, girl. Okay, I'll give it a couple more tries. Yeah, I really need to know what's next in order to do this right. You have to have seen it a few times. No, you piece of shit! No! No! No, so close, man. All right. All right, I think I've, I think I've seen enough. At the end, you really gotta pull up uh, as much as possible. As much as possible. Ascend the most. These are really trial and error. Did I go under it? They need to up, open up the hitboxes on these things, right? I feel like if you go in, in any part of 
the stupid circle, any part of it, it should give it to you. I think the fact that it's so, you have to get the inner circle is like, what? These chicken things, this chicken shit. And the, um, the big reward is a perfect. You have to do it perfectly. God damn. Okay. There's more, you know, how many of these things are there? got like the real one. Use a cloud. Don't off yourself, okay? Is it over here? It is.
Oh, right, all right, hold on. We're all on chickens now. God, I'm trying to click it. Barrier materia earrings? Well, oh man, let's just first first try this, okay? Let's just uh, one shot it. How about that? No problem. Just one shot it. Oh shit. Let's just take okay, 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 okay. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. My controller slipped. What the hell? Where my wind shits? You didn't think I could do this on game? No, mother Pfeiffer. No timer, yeah. So because of that, you can get those again. Son of an asshole. Sorry. Come on, get to it, get to it. Oh! I hate you. I'm so sick of this. I'm so sick of this. Just do it again, man. Run it again, homie. I'm done. You have no... Um, you, you have no... Timer. That's really important. Ah! 
gonna make it. I'm 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 making it. I'm making it. I'm making it. This was lineup. I don't know if I'm making it, boys. Alright! This is no problem. This is no problem. Um, I know the first quarter of this map, so now it's no problem. They're like, devs are like, we love Superman 64. So you need to love it just as much as we do. Where you at, you little bastards? This is the hardest minigame so far. This is harder than the push-ups minigame. We beat that in like one try. Wind? Why? I didn't know it was over here. Why, God? Why, God? All right, we got this shit, brother. We got this shit. I didn't know it was over here. I'm like looking for it. I'm like, huh? You have to hook to the right in the end. They get you. Yeah, yeah, shut up. I'm going back in, though. Don't you think I know that? There's something on your mind. Just say it. The day I fell, I Yo, Dib Dog, thanks for the bits. I got overconfident. Figured I had the race in the bag. I started thinking about all the ways I was going to spend the prize money. I wasn't focused. But when I was rounding the final corner, 
Apony and I, we got out of sync. Before I knew it, I was in the dirt. Apony jumped in front to try and protect me. And because of that, she got herself hurt. <laughs> so I... I just can't get back in the saddle. I can't. What if I hurt her again? I never forgive myself. <laughs> You're up, Mr. Merc. Put those chocobo interpreting skills to work. Huh? <laughs> it was a terrible accident. But we've learned from that experience and can grow as chocobo <laughs> and writer and strive to not repeat past mistakes. Once we've healed Shani, <laughs> let's race together again. You got that? Up in me. <laughs> he's, he's translating the chicken speak. <laughs> Funny. and I won't be able to take her out for a while. I feel better. Yeah, Claude has Chocobo DNA in him. I can trust. That happened with Shinra. Some weird shit. I'm sorry for making you worry, Mom. I promise I won't give up. Not again. <sighs> That's all I wanted to hear. Be warned, when I'm healed up, you're going down. <laughs> Bring it Run it, homie! Get back on this stupid thing! Give me those earrings! I was so checked out of the cutscene that I needed a- I was routing in my head. Literally routing this stupid course. Okay. And this game has Dark Souls level fights in its mini games. Requiring nothing but absolute tactical precision in mini games. Fuck you, man! Oh my god, I'm turning around and fuck you, man. Yeah, kiss my ass. Oh no, brother! Oh dear god, brother! Oh shit, fuck you, man. Sorry. My daughter watching. Okay, no message from JJ. Fuck you, chicken! This is great! I, I, I screwed it up. Retry. Shut up, Yuffie. We're not happy about this. So I gotta drop early here. Long story short, you just gotta drop early. I'm dropping too late. You man, I'm going to fix this. We can fix this. We can fix it. Can we, though? Okay. 
All right. Giddy up, girl. It just plays like an arcade game. That's it. No room for error. That's good. Yeah, let's go. to dive I probably didn't I probably didn't probably didn't even need to dive there right <sighs> maybe that's the gimmick yeah I think you might actually have to you have to dive before the second one you need to I wouldn't have been able to make it Yeah, I was too low. I saw it happening and I was like, okay, so maybe I can I can dive and recover from this. My chicken wind. <gasps> chicken wind. Ooh, where are you? Where where are you, man? No 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 lift lift. That one's weird. That's a weird jump in the end there. This is great. Yeah, this course is hard. We're getting it. Oh god, there's a bug in my room. Oh god. It's gonna land in my face at the worst moment. just got harder.
We can make a recovery. We can make a recovery. We can recover. We can recover. We can recover. Don't you dare go up there. Don't you dare. Yes, God. Thank you. Thank you, God. I actually was able to recover from this one. All right. I didn't go high enough. I didn't go high enough. Fucking piece of shit! I didn't go high enough on the second one! Wind? The wind, bro! I don't need this right now. I don't need this. Okay. me to do wait 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 i ascended all the way man <laughs> what is that <laughs> what is that <laughs> baby what what is this sweetie what are you what are you wearing <laughs> okay tell the chat what kind of ice cream you want a rainbow ice cream. you want a rainbow ice cream fair deal this is insanely cute <laughs> this is insane Sweetie, you're so cute. Give me a high five. <laughs> you're just staring at the chat. She's looking at all the Pokemon. She's looking at all the Pokemon in the chat. What Pokemon do you see? Gengar. You see Gengar? What else do you see? Pikachu. Pikachu. Wow. Anything else? 
The dragon, what's his name? Charizard, very good. There's Mewtwo. All right, so I went back. I'm, I'm completely aloof right here. I went back and I have to get air again, right? Yes, okay, air. Why not air? Dude. Okay, here we go. good we're good don't worry about it that might be one of the hardest things you can do in this game no joke that could be one of the most difficult things you do in this game ripley's just ripley comes down here and just stares at the chat it's so funny she gets on stream and she just looks at the chat like she's like she can read it it's kind of hilarious um all right fighting thing Go fight something. Man, look at this place. Look at those goats. Is that them? No. Oh, there they are. In this chasm. This chasm. Oh, these guys aren't going to be fun. Oh, monsters. Come out, come out wherever you are. Rare capper wire variant detected. Commencing capper wire. Protocol. Lacking both visual and auditory senses, the capper wire tracks prey through vibrations in the ground. Unleashing a relentless stream of precise attacks with its whip-like vines. Because Capowire tendrils are both supple and sturdy, humans have used them as a material for handicrafts throughout history. The vines of this particular variant are resistant to fire. A house wrapped in them could burn to the ground, and the tendrils would remain. There's no telling what untapped potential these plant fiends possess. We are counting on you to help us find out. Whack it. Wow! Keep it together. I'll show you what I can do. Come on, I'm doing it. Get him! Right. Get ready. You move! You've got this. Don't worry about it. Now, Aerith, you're airborne. Hey, hey. You're trying to go now. Gotta go for Jeez. it. Jeez. Aerith, my God. So crazy. I'm in a bush. She was Aerith. Be quiet, chat. Party level eight. I knew you'd come through, Cloud. After processing the intel you gathered and importing it into our simulator, I designed a combat trial just for you. While it is true that you provided assistance, my, I am the one who created it. At any rate, please give it a try. I'll have new, big, big new folio stuff. Okay. Let's go uh, run over to this life spring. And that jerky's good. I think I'm just hungry. Oh, it is definitely up there.
Well, that's how you get down from it? Oh, really? How about I do this? Yeah, that's the ticket. That's the ticket. Oh, oh God, more gliding. Oh God. Click the button. It's dark as heck in here. Get in there, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven more things. The Cetra and the Gi. Cool. Combat trial, okay. I might have to fly up to it. Dug Cosmo Canyon. This area was great. We're up in now. <sighs> uh, what is this? Huh? What is this? It's suddenly like nighttime in here? It's just so dark. Casted, automatically casted her stuff. God. Quackity whack. Yeah, auto weapon ability is doing some work on Aerith right now. Oh, we have a harbor, which we still haven't figured out how to use. Dude, where is my fight? Oh my god, I discovered something completely other than what I was looking for. Because of course... Because of course. It was the planet's will that led you here and smart it. Back in the day, this used to be where folks started their pilgrimage to Cosmo Canyon. Damn, that box is flying. Um, this is for sure gonna be some tiny bronco in right i'm assuming this will be some tiny bronco in at some point the 
This is the third one of these parts in the world I've come across. Bro, I literally scoured Cosmo and I didn't find this. It was kind of hidden. To be real, I was looking for this and I came across this. So to be real, my thing is up there. Oh God. It is. I gotta get to that spot. So pretty. Such a gorgeous game. I love the environment so much in this game, dude. And you know what I gotta say? This game does rocks really well. They did a really, really, really dang good job at rendering rock to make it look interesting and chaotic, just the same way it would be in real life, right? I gotta say, it's got some pretty rocks. It adds a lot to the environment. Oh, wow. Dog. Okay. All right, there has to be an answer here. This has to be some mega jump from somewhere. So I need to get there. Right? No, I need to get there. I might be able to reach that from here. One second. I was getting too ambitious. Nope, I ain't reaching it from here. Maybe if we just go left from this side? That's probably it. It's probably just left. Probably much simpler than I think it is. Get out of here, goats! Yeah. I was about to make this significantly harder on myself than I needed it to be. Which is about how I approach everything. eventually cast off their protective wind to send them hurtling around the battlefield. At this point, they will become pressured, okay? A little low on health. Let's go with Radiant Ward. What am I missing here? Um, I need three. Let him have it. Watch this. 
Oh no, this dude is absolutely toast. Good night. Not so bad. Way to go. I should go to a Chadley. A Chadley, like there's more than one. I should definitely hit up Chadley. Magnificent work, Cloud. Have this region's fiends proved a fitting challenge? One glance at the data will tell you they are clearly no match for him. I don't recall asking you. If you haven't noticed, I'm trying to have a conversation with Cloud. So please quit. Cloud, if you're in need of a challenge, know that another combat trial awaits you. This girl gets muted a lot. An awful lot. Wow. We done that much? Wow. Okay. Whoa. Got my camera on the chicken's butt. Where the heck do I go from here? Huh. So. Aha. Uh -huh. I like it. Oh no, I haven't unlocked those. Whatever that is, I have not unlocked it yet. Oh my god. Put the bridge on the way into Cosmo? It is. In fact, I don't think I've investigated a lot of this area over here, and look what's happening. Cosmetite ore. Yeah, maybe we can get up here. Bunnies! I already did this. But this doesn't link up to... that side of them. I literally have to find a jump. Alright. Literally. Literally. And I see a billion different jumping off points, but which one do I go to? Bunnies. Rubby. I need to get on top of these hills. I need to find a way. Hey, that's something. Look around here a little bit. Does this just circle around? Chicken! Mystery chicken. You put one all the way back here. Good for you. I need to put a cushion on this seat and rest for my bony butt.
Dude, I literally had a, a moment like this. Uh, a, a Cloud Strife bony butt problem. We were at Disneyland all day with Ripley, right? And uh, it was at like the end of the day and every single bench in Disneyland is horribly uncomfortable. Every single place you can sit that isn't a restaurant is I increasingly uncomfortable. So we were at like the front and JJ's doing some pin trading stuff, right? And I'm just like taking a seat with a, a sleep baby. And I was like, oh my God, this hurts. This chair I'm sitting on like hurts. And then I remembered that Jessica had like a cushioned up, like folded together, one of those like layout spread mats. That's like kind of like plastic. Um, and it just folds open and is like a little picnic area, but it folds into like literally a cushion sized little square. So I just yoinked that out of there and I like, tossed it under my butt and I was like, oh, thank God. And then Jessica came back and she's like, I'm like, you got to try this. This is wonderful. I'm actually comfortable now. So take that Disney. It's 100% intentional. Yeah. They designed their chairs to be uncomfortable uh, so that you can go shop and get up and move. 100%. That's why I had a Cloud Strife bony butt problem. Uh, how many of these jumps do I have to make, man? Oh. My god. Is there anything up here that I'm missing? Seven people on chickens. Well, why am I up here? Right? <clears throat> I'm not here. Am I here just to get higher up? I think the answer to that is yes. I think the answer to that is literally yes. I'm just gonna keep following this path until it gets me to where I need to go. Do it! Oh, that's where the proto relic is. Oh, okay. Uh, let her rip. This is actually how this works. Funny. Solve the great mystery of Cosmo Canyon. How the heck to get up here? You think there should be more enemies running around the world map? It's not an MMO, you know? And the enemies that are in the spots that they're in come back, like almost immediately, if you, if you go out of range. So they want you to engage the environment with this without just just fighting things. And I think I, I think it, they do a pretty good job at balancing it. Because what do you do in most open world environments like this for like a lot of games? You just fight things. It's the most interesting thing you do. Uh, up and err. found you. Well, they gave that camera a problem there. Yeah, and the enemies just, like, come back. So if you want to fight hard enemies, like, have good AP, you just wait, like, a minute and they're back. Or less than that. Let's go. A vicious dragon seems to have awakened in the Cosmo Canyon region. You must slay it, ere the fair earth is dyed an even darker red. Huh?
All right, Chadwin. Dude, where the hell's that one? Huh? Is it down there? That's a chocobo stop. Dog, what is this? Where are you? The hook around the bend of the canyon? Yeah, okay. Looks like that is the case. Oops, I need a chicken. I'm about to kill myself. Just gonna jump off this thing. Nice. We're in monster territory now. Rare basilisk variant detected. Commencing guidance protocol. Basilisks can change the color of their skin to blend into the environment and hunt prey undetected. Shinra is studying this feed in the hopes of replicating its camouflage capabilities. This variant, however, doesn't simply alter its coloration. It manipulates the properties of its skin in accordance with the temperature, humidity, and lighting of its surroundings. Its powers are nine ninja S. Be sure to rely on all your senses if you don't want to lose track of it. Funky iguanas. Get them! Analyzing biological data. Too much? Hey, you know what for it. You can do it. Leave it to me. Now. Almost didn't ass ass. Defeat all within the time limit. You got it, pal. You got it, pal. You to all intel objectives. Yes. I did. Pressured literally on... It must have been elemental weakness pressure, right? That's usually how you get pressure on the first hit. Very impressive work, Cloud. You completed this region's combat assignments. Such harsh environments as these are bound to engender fiends as brutal as their habitat. They might have gotten the better of you. If not for my informative and entertaining guidance. Isn't that right, Chadley? The data we collected from the fiends you fought has helped us create a new combat trial. I hope you'll find it useful. Don't ignore me! My closest resident, Chadley. I'm gonna see Cosmo Canyon, man. To Cosmo Canyon, the wow. We have that loading, dude. From here. Dude, the loading in this game is crazy. What happened? Is you they try to keep immersion so hard. If I can find Chedwin. Buster McVarley, thank you. Your efforts have yielded an Oh, Chedwin, I don't need to like talk to you. To develop materia? But maybe I should. Poison and petrify! Nice. Dang it! By the way. Alright, if you Chad Chadley, I swear to God. I'm literally doing all the missions here. If you're about to get on my case. If you are about to get on my case. I will eat you alive. Understand that, Chadley, right? Um, let's do this. 
going to take that materia. Just got. Poison and Petrify. But auto cast Poison Petrify. I still haven't jumped with red. I need to jump with red. Fire and ice. Um, HP absorb what, chat? HP absorb what? Cloud's got lightning, uh, fire, and ice. Might as well give him lightning. What does jump do? Oh, man. Hey, Cloud. Have you made any... Hey, you shut up! You be quiet! Don't worry. I'm sure you have oh, my God. I am... Chadley, I swear to God. Running away from you. Mahatma books. The history of Magnata books can be traced back to Cosmo Canyon itself. Damn, we got some stuff to spend, dude. Ooh, Fulio level eight. What are we looking at? Cool. Cost my whole thing, though. Another limit break. Cloud and Barrett doing something incredibly sick together. HP by 200, MP regen. MP by 3, ATB recharge rate. Increases the limit gauge rate. Damage dealt to staggered enemies, synergy skill abilities. Uh, limit, rate, limit gauge blocking. Slightly fills the ATB gauge at the start of the battle. Oh dear God! Op opening ATB bonus. Oh God! Oh God! All right, what are we looking at over here? Reduces fire, eye lightning, and wind damage. Uh, increases max HP. Uh, did Tifa just go, like, feral? Is that what I just saw? She does. Okay, Tifa's a cat. I'm buying it. Tifa's a cat, and I'm buying it. You have another one I can buy? Okay. This looks cute AF. Oh my god, and also probably deadly. Limit level increase on that. Can I really not afford anything else right now? Dang it, man. Okay. Planetary roar. Cool. Where's the one, though? Gotta get it. Gotta put Aerith and Barrett in a party together. We have to buy it. I have to put Aerith, Aerith and Barrett in a party. Gotta get that move. Max HP. Ninja Carbine. Dang. Sick. That one looks wild. Okay. That's the stagger and extension. It's all a lot to learn, dude. Oh, these are different for every character? What the hell was reds? Recovers MP upon receiving significant damage. What? Whoa. Fill the other party members limit break gauges? Jeez, what is happening? 
Increases the limit gauge charge rate by 5% upon successful blocking. Wrath of the land? Damn, red 13 ultra combo. Satellite beam, nice. <laughs> Look at him. Wow, dude. Okay, this is getting kind of crazy. What was Barrett's synergy abilities? Um, limit break damage by 5%, Tifa. Meteor strikes. Oh my god. Jeez. She she does the ultimate dive kick. Wait, what? You get we're getting new moves? Press square with the correct timing to unleash three consecutive attacks? A weapon ability? What wait, wait, what's Barrett's? Consume all ATB and half your HP to fire a high and half your HP? Focus your magical energy to unleash non-elemental magic attacks. Has various effects when charging, such as increasing magic attack. What is all this crazy stuff? If attacked in vengeance mode, perform a ferocious counterattack. Costs 2 ATB and ends vengeance mode. Dude, he's literally like, come at me, bro. That's so cool. What the heck was clouds? Oh my god. Oh my god. Launch a deadly assault from above can only be performed in mid-air. Wow, it's a better disorder? Wow, dude. Wow, I can't believe the gameplay is still expanding. I'll take that. <clears throat> yeah, it's like disorder extreme. Press square- oh no, they did it. Please, I hope it has the same sound effect. Align the reels. This ability's effect charges changes according to the result. Cost two ATB. Uh, can I flash the screen to make it easier? Increases luck when riding the Moogle. Ooh. Dang. Prevents incapacitation. I like that. Having guts is very good. Yuffie. The Moogle Pinwheel. Yuffie and Kitsith attack in tandem with a secret ninja technique. Why don't I see anybody being hit? Um, what is Yuffie's buff? An incredibly powerful attack costs three ATB, only available during United Refocus? So I have to do refocus to use this. Holy moly. Applies faith after stealing. Sick, I want this. Choice is made. Um, this is incredible. Effect temporary three charge ATB. Yeah, that's theirs. I saw the animation and I was like, yo, what is this? Google dunk shot. Refocus with Barrett. Oh, I didn't look at their limits. Hold on a second. Wow. Wow. The Giga Magic Mog Box. This is going to crash my PS5 if I do this. Increases luck by 50. What's Yuffie's crazy thing? Fills the ATB gauge after blocking with perfect timing. Gosh, man. May the planet bless you with wisdom. Gosh, man. Clouds level three is finishing touch.
Um, God, man. Okay, region map. What do we have left to do? Pretty much proto relics stuff and this. Let's save this for the very end. Let's go see if we can get the proto relic stuff done. I'm assuming I have to get to it from here. A. Yeah, that is what I gotta do. Hey, man. I wanna need that boost. You want Queen's Blood? I do too, okay? There's a lot of stuff in this game I want to do. But I'm not looking forward to this one as much. This is like the one thing in the game that I don't like as much, which is this mini game. Uh, but maybe it's going to grow on me. Maybe I have to understand it a bit better. I was getting like the elements backwards the first time I did this. So again, you had to like hammer your head into the wall until you figure it out. There it is. From my study of ancient texts, I've deduced this place was built by the Cetra to house something alien. Precisely what is unclear. I remember hearing about this growing up. You don't think they were talking about the Gi, do you? Hmm. Perhaps. But the energy signature would suggest otherwise. Given that it so strongly resembles that of a proto-relic, I surmise these structures were designed to contain one. For now, let's continue to restore them. I'm sure we'll find something within. The planet itself is guiding us. I've also developed an additional AI chip for RoboChat. Hopefully, it expedites our work. Beep, 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 beep. Play Gears and Gambits. You can now program your robots with gambits and actions. Uh oh. Gambits determine a target, actions determine what the robot will do to the target. To enhance your chances of victory, reference the information on the enemy units. You can also auto-program your robots um, if a stage is giving you trouble. As Chadley proceeds with his research, more gambits and actions will become available. Um, set auto-program gambits. Uh, gambits, actions... Gambits allow the robot to target foes and allies or itself, and it's important to choose according to the situations likely to occur in battle. For basic offensive strategy, try setting separate gambits for both nearby and far away foes. Too much! When the, when the tutorial takes that much, man, it's, it's a bit too much, right? Uh... Can I, like, auto-config this? Uh, auto program. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. There's too many things that I need to see how they work to understand when it will be good, right? There's too much situational awareness stuff in here that I just don't understand yet until it happens, and I'm like, oh, okay, so I'll just get ready for that. Okay, so strategy. Assess any marshmallows that appear so you'll know how to avoid triggering their powerful attacks. Use potent attacks when several robots are deployed in a single lane or when attacking by several robots. Okay. You can auto-program again? Really? Sure. 
Okay, let's see. Um. So. Am I not understanding this part? It is a lightning monster, and apparently it looks like... Is this the one it's weak to? No. It gives, like, the icon next to it. Top right for elements. Thank you. Jeez. So he is electricity. I need to use ice against him. And you are fire. I need to use uh, lightning against him. No? He's weak to electricity? Did I read it wrong? God damn. Bro. Already. Already. Weird, weird problems. Um. So the fire. I guess we gotta kill the flan first, or the red flan first. So that means I gotta do. more. Which affinity are you? I'm looking at the colors of these guys, thinking that that's the affinity. Is that not right? Yeah, what, what is the element of my, my dudes? Is it the icon? So, let's do this. Um. Nice. Uh, I need something that's going to defeat. This guy is fire, so for some reason, lightning fights it. And we need to fight ice with fire. Uh, okay. That went poorly. Uh, this guy was fire. I gotta do a lightning against it. I'll send a... Uh... Uh, I have no more lightning bots. I have to wait. Boy, robot. Two ice guys, so I'm gonna do fire. Another fire. Uh, that guy's non elemental. Portal HP low. Where?
Okay. We win. All right. Once I understood the elemental weaknesses, we were good. Right, we were good. Yeah. Once I was like, all right, just see an element, throw out a dude. See an element, throw out a dude. See an element, throw out a dude. That was the idea. Coming out to see the canyon one day. That night at the bar, remember? Yeah. You guys were trying some new cocktails for me. Whoa. Mm, yep. This is the one. Bartender, whip me up another Costa del Sol. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I'm cutting you off. <laughs> Come on, one more couldn't hurt. Now me, I'm a Cosmo Canyon guy. Mm, that one was pretty good, but it was missing that special flourish. Guess what I got? Huh? Ta-da! Cosmo Salt. Can't call it a Cosmo Canyon without a touch of local flavor, right? Trust me, a dash of this will make all the difference. What's Cosmo about it? It's mined from the canyon itself, the birthplace of planetology, and pretty hard to come by, I'll have you know. Oh my god. That cell's gotta be laced with something. Wow. <laughs> Jesse's like, stop drugging me. You're right. Wow. It's like a whole new drink. Man, it's too bad the stuff is so hard to come by. If only I had more. I thought you might say that. Bought out the whole store so you can keep on mixing. <laughs> Those will only last us so long. Especially if this Cosmo Canyon becomes a hit. Gonna need to stock up. In that case, what about a trip to the source, huh? We could all bring back as much salt as we could carry. What do you say? Count Let's go to a fighting game tournament. Planetology, here we come. It's gonna be great. Oh, really? Huh? Y'all think we got money to be taking field trips? Because our books say otherwise. Here. <laughs> there you have it. The box itself says it's a done deal. <laughs> to our generous leader. <laughs> to to Barrett. Barrett. Honestly, y'all are just too much. <laughs> <sighs> Look, guys, we made it. Would have liked to have gotten here sooner, but. This is very sad. Wait, you fixed it already? Ages ago, slow folks. Come on, double time. Coming. there Barrett's big on tough love huh maybe I ought to try to return the favor Barrett's big on tough love huh maybe. there was apparently a thriving salt industry here back before everything went to hell with the fall of the Republic wait salt comes from the sea right does that mean this whole place used to be underwater wow the planet's just full of surprises Seeing these ruins, I can't help wondering what this place must have looked like when it was first built. Never imagined I'd get this invested, but here we are. Down here? Music man. So cool that you can still see Cosmo all the way down here. That is a big rock monster. 
gonna get messed up. This guy is like, what is happening to me? Stop abusing my elemental weakness. No. No. I was taking a nap. Chickens. Oh, they must be here already. Chickens. There you are. Well, well, y'all beat us to the punch for once. Not that it mattered. We still can't reach the font. Damn, there's a weird fiend. Got any smart ideas? Chadley beeps. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. I've prepared an additional AI chip. It should allow you to progress further. Just mind the monsters. Okay. Uh, auto set, auto program, airborne photo gravity shot. Well, that seems kind of weird. Okay. I see a lot of stuff, you know, I see a lot of stuff, so I'm good. Commence battle. So, we got a ice spot to go after this guy. Right? Yeah. Uh yeah, that should be ice box. Jesus, man. You guys hurt so much. And I need to do a lightning bot over here. Another lightning bot. Okay. This is a neutral bot. Hey, man. Why was my dude going after that guy? Uh, this is fire, so I need to send lightning after fire. Dog. Ah, I'm getting shot in slow motion! Uh... Lightning beats fire. Well, this seems challenging. Uh, both of you guys are ice and fire. Right. Okay, that guy's alive. Terrible choice. 
Dude, you guys are tough because you're doing... I should have nuked you two. To be real. God, bro. Um, I think this one's a lost cause. I think I'm just going to sacrifice this one. Do I die if this one? I'm actually curious. Oh no, so if we lose one completely, it's over. I don't need to lose all three. Gotcha. I don't need to lose all three. It's just one. Okay. So whatever gambits I had seemed balls. It did not seem good. I have to see what I got because they have a bunch of mages and stuff, you know? Yeah, it's a shared pool of health. Okay. Yeah, this could actually be a fun mini game. I think so. Just turn it into like half the game it is it would honestly be kind of fun if you just got robots that had different gambits already equipped them i think the gambit part is just too much right think that did the trick yeah this font's good to go the gambit the gambit part of it is too much in my opinion just slowing you down <clears throat> Blessings of the planet be upon you. <laughs> but it's worth it for the cutscenes. And what about you, my dear child? What truth no, the elements didn't confuse me. The UI did. Really, what guys? the UI was telling me you was confusing the hell out of me. Come on, let's hear it. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I guess... Uh... Can't hear you. <laughs> The truth is, uh, uh, the truth is, I just want to do more for you guys. I'm sick of feeling like dead weight around here. I just, I. For the I, love of God, not this again. Come on, out with it. Which one of us said that? Was it me, Biggs? Or was it? <laughs> no, nobody said anything, honest. But you never would. You guys are too nice for that. You really think she's too nice? I'm nice to those who deserve it. See? What did I tell you? She's trying to kill him. <laughs> Seriously, we wouldn't be here without you. Huh. Was always down on himself, even though he shouldn't have been. Wedge worked harder than any of us. That's just who he was. Always trying to do better. Yeah. <laughs> that guy. If only he'd stuck to looking after his cats and enjoying good food. Let's go. Final one. Okay. So I'm curious what <clears throat> crazy thing <coughs> they're going to throw at us now. Oh, this is at the very top. Upper gate, yeah. Um, Because, like, they threw... What's it called? Floating enemies at us. And we didn't know that. And then... We had to find, like, appropriate gambit counters for it, right?
We're about to find out. These are the Korra ones I did. I didn't find them that hard. Some of them were, were kind of challenging. Where's red? Boom! Get ready. Kill that dude. Grasslands Proto Relic was the uh, the bandits from the first game. Yeah, this is the only part of the game that I feel is actually cumbersome. It's the only part of the game. Of all the side quests, everything we've done, we finally found something that is, in my opinion, not good. It's the only part of the game. Everything else, every other side quest, even the sit-ups, I was cool with it. Because I was, like, feeling a, an, an impressive amount of, like, progress over time. The flying bird was great. To be honest, the chocobo is just hard. The chocobo one probably will take you more time. I just don't think this game... I, 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 I like the, the Mog minigame more than this. Because at least you get it. You, like, quickly understand it, and you just do it, and it's frustrating. Yeah, I get it. But at least I understand, clearly understand, like, the goal. You now set advanced actions by plus and augmentation and shock. To program them, you must select one of four additional conditions. <gasps> it's getting more complicated. Is this running the experience so far of this game? Absolutely. This makes this game the worst Final Fantasy I've ever played. This optional quest that I have to do a, a remedial amount of times that takes that has taken me potentially less than 30 minutes of my a, a, something 80 hour playthrough ruins the entire thing. I can't believe it. This and there's one time I saw some pop in. It's the worst game I've ever played. Yeah, elemental for every single one. Yeah, elemental weakness, elemental weakness, elemental weakness. You almost have to have that, right? I think this is okay. Get a shot. All right. Who has, like, the healing? Uh, self, barrier shot, ally, bravery, multi-shot. Damn. Walked up and chomped me. Dude, him just being able to nuke one of my dudes is crazy and just kill him outright. That's crazy. HP low. Dude, I literally have guys attacking the dickens out of you. And you're telling me my HP is low?
A lot of shit happening here. Let's go. Charge! Charge! Okay.